Hey everyone! Hope everyone is having a great Tuesday. Thanks for hopping on my page, All Pretty Things with Anne Marie. I'm Anne Marie and I am a director with Pharmacy USA. Um, if you've never heard of Pharmacy before, we're a European super fast growing company. Uh, makeup, skincare, we have a men's line, baby line, so much to offer you guys. Um, my favorite part is the makeup, of course. Um, so thanks for hopping on my page. I've had so many new followers recently, so I figured I would come on and we'd do some good makeup today. Well, hopefully good makeup I have. Um, if you've also never been on my page before, I'm a mom of twins and a seven-year-old. So I have twin eight-month-old babies who are right down here. And that could always go bad. So bear with me if they ever get crazy. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do some makeup today and we can talk as we go. Um, all I've done so far is just use a little bit of our um, brow pomade on my brows and I will go fill them in just a little bit more once I have my foundation on but I like to do the base with a pomade. If you guys are hopping on, say hello. If it's red up here in the top corner, that means you are live. Hello guys. If that red box is not there, that means you are a replay watcher and let me know you got to watch below. Comment hashtag replay. Ooh. All right, so let's do some makeup. I also already hopped in with our VFX. Um, this is my favorite primer we have. It's in a purple bottle. It's the Strobe Primer. It's only $13. I will link below my website for you guys if you see anything you like throughout this video. And all pretty things with Anne-Marie. Um, and you want to purchase some makeup, um, I will put my link here for you. And there it is. Hey, Tiffany. Hey, Jessica. All right. Awesome, so here we go. I did put the primer on. I like to do it before I get on so it has time to sit. Um, so let's, we're gonna do a neutral eye today. It's gonna have like these, you know, neutral tones, but then I'm gonna use some black to make it a smoky eye. So I try to coordinate my outfit with my eye look. Um, I just always think that's fun to do. It's totally just like an extra step is matching your clothes to your makeup. But I'm going to go in with our mono eyeshadows. Hey, Victoria. Um, this is a mono eyeshadow. They are only $9, so it's a super, super huge eyeshadow palette, um, or I guess it's a single eyeshadow, um, but it's going to last you forever. So I'm using just a big, fluffy Real Techniques brush um, to do just a, tran a transition shade underneath my base of my makeup, base of my eyeshadow. This is Warm Toe. If y'all are here, say hello in the comments. Let me know you're watching. Let me know what you're doing on this beautiful Tuesday afternoon. I hate that the brown is on back order. I know, I'm so sad that this warm taupe is on back order because it's like such a pretty color. All right, so I'm just going in just literally for a transition shade. So any of that. Everywhere we um, put other shades, we do have like a background, just base color, nothing crazy. Okay, you guys, so I just want to start off by saying I like to do my eyes first because if you have any fallout, which I don't have too much fallout, but I just am kind of messy with my eyeshadow. So you'll see when I'm done my eyeshadow, when I do my face makeup, how much cleaner and prettier it will look. So bear with me. Um, if you think I'm looking crazy, just keep on watching and you'll see it all come together at the end. Okay, so just put that on as a base shade. So that was Warm Taupe. Hey, Ashley. All right. Why is this so far? Okay. Make sure that's not... It's kind of hard to see when you're doing makeup into a phone. <laughs> All right, so we've got our ba our base transition shade. Next thing we're gonna do is go in. Where is this brush? Here we are. Okay, another Real Techniques brush. Um, I love these brushes, just super, super easy for eyeshadow. So now I'm going in with Coffee Brown. As you can see, this is more of like a shimmery brown, and I'm gonna do my crease with that color. So I'm gonna first start off just by patting some of that brown right here on the outer edge of my eye. Just like building it right here in the corner. And then I'm gonna take it and pull it through my crease to, uh, to create some like dimension on my eyelid. But I love this color because it's a super pretty like neutral brown. 
and it has a really pretty shimmer to it and I'm not a big oops I'm not a big shimmer shade person but see how pretty that is it's really pretty it has like some gold undertones so I did um, start back in the gym I've been going like on and off but I'm going to stick with it because I need it so badly in my life um, so if, as you can see my hair is like a hot mess right now I've got just like a low bun um, but these little headbands are like saving me right now <laughs> kind of covers up some of that messy hair but now that I got the gym back in my life my hair may be a little bit messy when you guys hop on my videos so I'm so sorry in advance if I have messy hair <laughs> All right, so you can see I'm just shading that, um, shading that brown, that coffee brown, right here in the crease. Just pulling it under a little. All right, so next step is to go in with a bright color right here. Okay, so I'm gonna use just like a little skinny. Um, brush and use this shade. It's called Satin Ribbon. Hey, Brittany. Hey, Ashley. I'm using Satin Ribbon. Make sure. Yeah, Satin Ribbon. And I'm going to just pat that in. But by patting, you're making the color a lot more bolder. Whereas if you like start spreading it, it's going to just be a little bit lighter. And if you want it to be like super drastic with your makeup, you could totally put some concealer under this. Um, and do like a little cut crease, but I'm not that, it's Tuesday, honestly. <laughs> I don't have too much to be doing. What's everyone doing today? I went to the gym, got my workout in, had some lunch, nothing crazy. All right, so I know it looks crazy right now because I don't have face makeup on. So you guys really <laughs> stay along. Don't leave. Don't be like, wow, this girl looks crazy. All right. The next thing I'm going to do is the scary part is use black. This is, we do have a black mono shadow like these. I don't have one. So I'm using black from our ultimate smoky palette. Same thing. It's black. Black is black. <laughs> so I'm just tapping in. This is our pharmacy brush. It comes in our brush set. Sorry for my ugly looking nails. I went to go get my nails done this weekend. And the place was closed. And I don't like the, the, so I went to a different place and got a pedicure, but I don't like that place for nails. So I'm waiting to get my nails done. Okay, so I'm patting in black. Scary, scary color. Can you please do liner to show me how to do it? Yeah, I can do liner for you. So I'm patting in black, and I know it's always like a super scary color for people. Don't be scared. You just need to like play and blend with it. Um, blend it not blend with it you need to blend it but first just start by tapping it where you want it and then blend out so don't go and like start doing windshield wipers across your whole eyeball with your black if you're not wanting like black everywhere if that makes sense so first I just tap it in and then I'm gonna take like a fluffier brush and blend it out and it'll look really pretty And if you guys are just hopping on, my name's Anne Marie. I am with um, a company called Pharmacy. So all the makeup that I'm using today is Pharmacy products. I am obsessed with all of them, literally all of them. And also I'm a twin mom, so I do have my twin babies right here. They're eight months old and they keep me super busy. So many people who come and want to join me on this business, they're like, Oh, I'm just so busy. I'm like, girl, I got twin babies. I'm busy too. If you want it, you can make time for it. Um, but a little bit about our business. I go to Beverly now in Leland. I um I went there years ago, but I don't know why I didn't love it there. I go to I like to go for my nails to Hollywood. Um, the Hollywood by in Brunswick Forest. Not the Hollywood in Walmart. That's the one I went and got my pedicure at. All right, so I'm just slowly like pulling this shade up, just up a little bit to blend it out. But I don't want to go too much because you don't want to go too high with it. So if you can see, I'm just blending it up just a little. 
Hey Jennifer. Oh wow, I didn't realize they were eight months there. A little bit. Ooh, can you guys hear me? It just said something like no network connection. Let me know if you can hear me. Never had that happen before. All right, so we're gonna do, hopefully you can hear me. We're gonna do colors underneath the eye, but we're gonna go into foundation first and then come back to my eye later. Can now, yes. Hmm, I don't even know what just happened. Okay, so, for the, sorry about that. Let's use our VFX Pro Camera Ready Foundation in shade. Actually, we might not because I don't know if I have it out here. I have the wrong shade right here. I have 00, 00 and it's 01 that I need. So I guess we're not going to use that. We're going to use our serum. I have 04. No, that's not going to work. But is that black tie? What do you mean? Oh, black tie eyeshadow? No, I guess you couldn't hear me when I said it. It's the black from the Ultimate Smoky Eyeshadow Palette. Hey, Emily. Okay, so let's go in with our serum foundation. This is a super, super hydrating foundation. You're gonna think I look a little bit like really like shiny for a minute, but I'll show you as we go how I um, how I mattify my face. So I'm just using a squirt. Actually, I only used about half the squirt, so there's still some left. And I'm going to just apply that to my face. Yeah, that must have been cut out. I'm just dabbing that in first, but I love this foundation because it gives you a really good coverage. And especially in these cold, cold months, which lies, it's not even cold out. <laughs> but it is um, the winter and I do have like the heat on in the house a lot and my skin gets dried out, you know. So this skin, this skin, this foundation keeps my skin nice and hydrated, which I really love. And it, it really has, everybody says medium coverage, but I really think that the coverage is pretty like I'll, I'll call it medium to full. I mean, I could call it full coverage, um, especially once I put on my pressed powder with it to mattify it, adds a little bit extra coverage. Um, so this is just the rest of that pump. I drip some on the table and I, yeah, I just need to add just a tiny bit. Just a teeny, teeny. All right. So see, this is just really good coverage. Let me swipe these away real fast so I can get that. And it's okay if you don't get too close to your eye because I am gonna use concealer. So when I use that concealer, it's gonna get nice and close to my eye anyway. So if you have problems with creasing, you probably don't wanna to put too much product on your, like close, close to your under eyes. So you don't even have to put your foundation like really close to your eye. You can just, you know, get like pretty close and then use your concealer to see how like that stuff underneath my eye. And pull that down your neck just a little bit. Make sure you're all blended. This is the serum foundation. It's only $22. If you're a beauty influencer like me, it is only 11 And I use shade O2. Okay. <laughs> Try and get some of that off my lips. All right, but see that coverage? It is really good coverage. People call it medium. I would call it medium to, medium to full. I guess I can swipe you back now. All right, let me make sure with a mirror that we are all good here. It's hard when I'm like looking into my phone, making sure I'm all blended. And this is also a Real Techniques brush. If you can't tell, I really love Real Techniques brushes. Pharmacy has brushes, but we only have a couple and I use those for my whole face as well. But um, I need like lots of different brushes. <laughs> Okay, so we are all blended in now. So let's go in with some concealer and then we'll finish our under eyes. Hey, Amy. So I'm gonna go in with concealer 03. It's called Light Ivory. I swear I go through these things like, no, I've only actually had two of them in six months, so it's not that much, but I love this concealer. Okay, so see how I told you like it gets messy when you do your eyeshadow? I mean, unless you're like a pro and you don't get messy, but I am messy. So I take my concealer and just pull it up. And what's that? what that's doing is just like creating one, like it's gonna make your eye look lifted, but it's also gonna clean up your eyeshadow. Okay. 
Sorry, ugly face. I'm just trying to make sure I don't get that in. But then I just pull the rest of the product that's like already there, pull it down, and we're good. So then I just take my finger, start dabbing in. Hey, Christy. I haven't seen you in a while. So I'm just taking my finger. I like to get really close to my eye with my finger. So see what I mean? I said, like, even if you don't get your foundation all the way to your eye, it's okay because if you go in with concealer after, and if you don't like this super bright look, you can um, use, like, a darker concealer, and that's fine. I just prefer, like, a bright under eye. And I also use, like, a bronzer and blush and pressed powder to blend it all together so it won't be so harsh later. Um... But yeah, I like a bright eye to begin with, so that way I can add color to it. And it's almost, it's it's like an easy, easy step to contouring. Sorry if my mirror is in the way. Okay, so see how I, first I just um, use my finger, and then just to get up any excess pro product, I'll go in with a sponge just to like get any of the extras. It's crazy how much better you feel when you put your makeup on, like, there are days that I'm just not in the mood to, and that's fine. Like, just because I work for a company that does makeup doesn't mean that I have to put it on every day, but I'm not even kidding. When I do put it on, I just feel like so much better. Sorry for the baby music. If you're a mom like me, you understand. Okay, so that was concealer 03, and also I do one eye at a time because this stuff will dry, and you want to be like blend it in while it's nice and wet. Um, it's a it's a liquid concealer, so like I said, you want to blend it in while it's still wet. Oop, I just made a little bit of a mess, but I just tap super lightly. Also. When you're doing anything on your under eye, you want to use your ring finger. It's the least, the it's your finger with the least amount of muscle. And you don't ever want to pull on your under eye because obviously you don't want to create, create wrinkles. So just a little makeup tip. Use your ring finger when applying concealer. And I just pull mine up a little bit on my temples. Again, to make that like bright eyed look. But see how that just like really cleans up that eyeshadow? And Stephanie, I feel really bad, but I'm not sure I'm going to do eyeliner today. Um, I can guide you to one of my videos that I do eyeliner in, but I am not wanting to do eyeliner with, like I don't like to do eyeliner when I already have like a dark look going on. So I'm sorry, I'm so, so sorry, but Eyeliner is not happening today. Um, this is our 3-in-1 face palette that I'm using just to add just a little bit of like highlight to my eye here. It's just a little bit brighter than the satin ribbon um, eyeshadow I used. Okay, so far we've got our eyeshadow done. Where's my sponge? It's in my hand. I was looking for my sponge. And we've got some face makeup started. Okay, sorry, I have to like check out where I'm at. I wanna finish my brows. I know I'm like all over the place, but I just kinda like to do things um, in like my own, in my own way. So I've been using a beauty blender sponge to apply my foundation and concealer. Do you find that using a brush is better? And finger for concealer. Okay, so I like using a Either like this is a brush from Real Techniques or like a Kabuki brush. I like to use them for my foundation. It gives you more coverage than if you were to just use a sponge. So on, for example, on days that I'm just throwing on like my CC cream and I don't need a lot of coverage. Sorry, I like to use um, the sponge for those days. But on days where I'm like doing this kind of full look, I definitely recommend using a brush compared to a sponge. And you guys, I finally got my eyebrows done. So I don't have like these like caterpillars on my face anymore. 
So like I said before though, I did use my, um, I used my brow pomade to create a base of my brows and then it dries and then once it's dried and I've got like my foundation on, I just go in with this brow powder to fill in like, I have really like sparse brows. So I just go in with this just to like add some um, darker color and to fill in those areas. And I am no makeup artist, let me just tell you that. So these are totally just like Anne Marie tips. <laughs> Not makeup artist tips, just Anne Marie tips. But, okay. So let's set our face. Now I told you it's gonna look shiny for a little while until I set my makeup. So we're gonna go and set it now. So where I put my concealer, the bright areas, I wanna use a, let me find it really fast. Right here, I wanna use a transparent pressed powder. Ever since I started using pharmacy, I love doing makeup now. I love trying new things, that's so awesome. Hey Megan, um, which eyeshadows did I use? I used, um, that's not it. I used warm taupe as my base. I used coffee brown on my lid. Um, and then I used, I don't have, we do have a black, which is the um, black tide, but I don't have that. Sorry. I used um, just the black from our smoky eye palette on the outer parts of my eye, the outer creases. And something is going on right here that I'm just not loving today, but it's all right. And then on the inside, I used satin ribbon, which is like a nice bright eye. And if you don't have, or if you can't get all those different colors, you can use just um, the highlighter from our three-in-one face palette. Okay, sorry, I just had to blend that in. Okay, so back to my face. I used the transparent pressed powder, transparent pressed powder, the Black was Smoky Trio. Um, and Brittany, you, sorry, I forgot to respond to the rest. Um, as far as using concealer, you said, um, finger is better. I use my finger first to tap it in and I use my ring finger because it's the least amount of muscles in your fingers. You don't want to pull on your under eyes. So that's why I use that finger. And then I just take a sponge just to kind of go dab tiny, like lightly, lightly, lightly. You don't want to, you don't want to dab too hard. Um, and then you'll just pull up the product, but you just dab really lightly just to get it like blended and pull up any excess product. Um, then this is the transparent pressed powder and this is, I'm only using this on the parts that of my face that I wanna keep bright, which is my under eye. And if I was in like super contour mode, I would do like bright on the center of my nose, my forehead, like right here. Um, but I'm just gonna do just, you know, regular. Um, but I am gonna use this pressed powder right here on the center of my Forehead. This is where I get the most shiny. This is going to keep me from getting that extra, extra shine. And then, okay, my absolute favorite product that we have. I don't even, it's like the silliest product, but this powder is our um, face perfecting press powder. I love it because it holds your makeup in all day. And I don't like if I have transfer, if my makeup transfers from like holding my phone, I don't like that. I think it's gross. This keeps my makeup from transferring um, in, as well as the Time Walker setting spray. So like this just, it just holds all your makeup in. And like I said, I used a serum foundation, um, which is obviously super dewy because it is a serum. And so if I use the pressed powder to set it, it takes away that dewy look, but it gives you that coverage that the serum gives um, and also the hydration into my skin. So wherever I didn't put the transparent pressed powder, hey Danielle, I'm going to put this pressed powder and we have many, many shades of this um, just depending on your skin tone, but I'm using shade 02, which I think it's, I think it's uh, warm light. In the summer, I'll probably go up to like warm medium or whatever. But if you're like me and you don't like any type of like sticky, I don't want to say sticky, but like tackiness to your face, get this, okay? Like, not kidding. Just changes the whole look to your face. Changes the whole look, the whole texture, and it's only $12. So, I did put my link below if you guys want to shop it. It is all pretty things with Anne Marie. And this is the pressed powder, it's only $12. The foundation I use is only um, $22. The eyeshadows I used were nine. 
or I'm just trying to remember things I used. The concealer was only nine as well. So I always just go like this, feel around my face, and anywhere else that I think that I need powder. Gavin, how'd you get over there? You see him down there? Sorry for the mess. He's like sticking out down there. <laughs> okay, so let's get back into my face. Um, should we use a contour stick today? No. No, because I already put my powder on. Lied. Okay, let's use... Pressed powder again, surprise. My favorite, one of my favorite products that we have. This is another pressed powder, it's shade 102. So I used 02 for my face. I'm using 102 for my contour and then I'm using this little brush here. Put that away. Um, this is like a little, it's like wide this way but then like skinny this way. So if you can see it's like an oblong shape. So it's a really good brush to do contour. And I'm just gonna go really lightly Following where my cheekbone starts down to about halfway through, I like to match it up with my, um, with my eye, uh, pupil. Sorry. So this is just a pressed powder, just like I used on the rest of my face. So it's nothing to like. It's not shiny. It's not like our um, shimmery, not shiny. But if you're not like, if you don't like shimmer on your face at all. Like our Sunkiss bronzer, it is Sunkiss. It has like a slight shimmer to it. And I like to use that later, and I'll show you why. But for just my straight contour, I like to use this powder. Because one, it's like nice and dark. Don't worry, we'll, we'll blend it all in in just a second. So I like to do like close to my hairline, but I leave the center of my forehead bright because I have a short forehead. So I don't want to like close it in too much. And then I go down my temples to blend those in. I need to swipe these off real fast. Blend those two together. You don't want to have like a crease here, you know? Okay, and I'm just gonna take like the same brush that I used for my pressed powder, blend those, blend that out. So it's not like too bold. I feel like I need a necklace on. Danielle, I need some like cute little necklace if you're here. Oh, and then with that same brush and that same powder, I like to just sculpt out my nose. I have like a little bit of a wide nose. So I'm just taking the end, it's that same brush I used, it just has this like small end and I'm just going really lightly, like I'm barely touching. But I'm just applying some color on the side of it to create like a shape to my nose, like natural shadow. And then like always, Take my pressed powder brush and blend that out. I like this song. I hope Instagram, I mean Facebook doesn't kick me off. Okay. Oh, I like this song too. I think it's so dumb that Facebook does that about music. Mm, okay, let's do underneath our eyes for eyeshadow. So I'm gonna take I'm not gonna take warm tube. I'm just gonna take coffee brown and my pharmacy eyeshadow brush and tap into there. And I'm gonna take that and just go right underneath my waterline. Sorry, ugly face. See, that's just like, like kind of like widening my eyes cause it's pulling them down a little. I was doing this the other day and Brody was like, you need to be careful, you're gonna poke yourself in the eye. And Brody's my seven year old. So I thought that was really funny. I was like, thanks dude, I was looking out. So see how that just like connects the upper eye to the bottom part? So 
something is like not blended right here. Much better. I'm gonna use um, my liner brush, also pharmacy brush with black. Actually, let's just go in with just a little bit of eyeliner instead of pulling out all these powders again. I'm just gonna use, is that black? Yeah, my extra last eyeliner and I'm only using this on like the outer part. Like I'm not gonna go all the way in. And I think basically where I stopped the black up top is where I stopped the black on the bottom. It just makes my eyes really, really pop. I'm not like a, I don't like eyeliner going all the way in. I think it just like really closes off your eyes. And I have like, I don't have big eyes. I don't have small eyes, but I don't like, I don't want my eyes to look small. I want them to pop. Okay. Let's do blush. Put on some blush. Blush 16. This is um, super, super pretty blush and it's nice and warm which is really cute for winter and especially um brunettes i think this is a really pretty brunette color it's just nice and warm or if you have like all of these skin tone like i do and it's not like too much it's not overpowering or anything i actually use it as an eyeshadow all the time and it's so pretty so pretty i'm going to Buff that out. I'd literally like to take my pressed powder brush and buff out all of my face. Like everything I do, I like to buff it out. <laughs> Just like blend it all in together. Okay, let's do, um, what do I have left? Highlight. Let's do some highlighter. Hello. Can y'all see them? They're just so cute. They're, don't mind my ugly house, but hey, babies! Gavin, are you playing with the box? Say hey, babies! Hallie, of course, pulled off her socks. She always takes off her socks and eats them. Always, like in the car, takes them off. Um, you guys, this this highlighter that I'm about to use yeah. is so pretty. If you like highlighter, you would love this highlighter. I'm just putting that on the balls of my cheeks. Look how pretty that is. Like, I normally, I'll see people come on and do their makeup. And they'll be like, look at my highlighter. And you can't even see it. I'm like, oh, you need this highlighter. Like, totally not putting anybody down. I'm just saying, like, you know, and you watch and you're like, oh, I can't even see anything. No, watch this. I just put a tiny bit. And it's so highlighting. Because you can't put a lot or else you're, like, going to look like a unicorn. Let's do lipstick. And what color lipstick am I feeling today? Let's do some Confident and some 205. Ooh, I don't know. Do y'all think I should do like a purpley lip? Do you think I should do like a pink lip? Do you think I should do a nude lip, which I don't really wanna do? <laughs> do you think I should do like a, a, a rosy, like red lip? Ooh, what about? Perfect rose. I don't know if this will be too bright. That one's pretty. Yeah, let's do that. This is called Perfect Rose. It's number 04 and it's only $11. Here, let me get my, my mirror. She's not, she's not lying. The highlight is so pigmented. Yes. Uh, Lauren, you need this shade. This is even cuter on blondes. I'm not like one of those people who are like, oh, blondes can wear this, browns can, or browns, brunettes can wear uh, like the shades. I think it doesn't matter what like, like color skin, what color hair, what color eyes. I don't think it matters. I think it look, everything looks pretty on everybody. Hey, Denise. Hey, Julie. I have so much fun doing makeup, you guys. So 
So this is 04 Perfect Rose. I think this is like such a perfect color. Okay, honestly, it's kind of clashing with the light behind me. Um, it's a little bit more like, it's like a little bit um, orangier with this lighting, but honestly, this is such a cute color. And especially with spring coming, I feel like it goes so well. All right, don't forget your setting spray. I love this part. Oh my God, I literally love this part. Okay, and we'll do some mascara. All right, you guys, so I wanna talk to you all real quick. I've had so many people like adding me on Facebook lately, and instead of accepting you guys, um, I've been guiding you to this page just because I'd rather grow my business page than grow my personal page where it's like, I'm not saying more my family, just like my closer people that I know um, and like my friends and stuff. So I'm trying to really grow my business page, so I keep directing you guys here. So welcome to my page. I will always be posting um, all things mom things, all things makeup, all things recipes that I, you know, I'm trying to get healthy again. So I'll be posting as much as I can to just like help you guys or just so you have somebody to relate to. Like I'm not even saying that. I can help like <laughs> just to have somebody to relate to so I'm growing this page so again thank you for being here I am using our extreme curl mascara also um, I my team you guys let me tell you if you've never heard of pharmacy before I told you a little at the beginning what we were um, we are also only at where our our join fee to join our company is $19.99. Is that not insane? It's only $19.99 to join pharmacy, so we're growing like absolute crazy. Um, so if it's ever been something you like, if you watch me and you're like, wow, like I want to do that, but you think of other companies and you're like, it's probably expensive to join. It's only $19.99. I'm not even joking. And I was just doing like a little training with my team today to talk about how you can get yourself free product right when you start. So that's something that if you're like, well, I can pay the $19.99, but I don't have money to like buy myself too much makeup. How can I still join? I have, I have the tools. I've got the, I've got ideas for you and I'm, I'm here to help. My team's gone to 140 girls in five months, which is freaking crazy. I've never done this before. Most people think, well, no, 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 I have done this before, but most people think you have to be like with direct sales for like five years to be able to grow a team big. I was with another company for three months before I joined this business and I had zero below me. I had no, like, I didn't have anybody below me and I came into pharmacy in August 15th and I've had, I've grown to 140 since then, which is crazy, 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 crazy. So I'm telling you, when I say growth opportunity is huge here, it's huge here. And like, if you want it bad and you you come in here and you work, you can, you can like, there's so much room for opportunity here. Um, but like I was saying, it's $19.99 to join. You make 50% commission starting out. You have no sales quotas. Most companies you have like, you have to make like 400 or something before you even make your commission. No, you start out, you sell one thing, you're gonna make 50% off of it. Um, you also get a 50% off discount, so all of my, mine's not organized, but that's good. All this makeup that I've gotten from pharmacy is all been 50% off for me. Um, and then as you like promote and stuff, you get money back on your paycheck. So because I'm at like a 25% bonus, I get 25% back on my paycheck for all this that I buy. So in reality, it's like 75% off, which is freaking nuts. Um, so yeah, I'd love to have you on the team. I'm so glad you guys are on my page now. Thank you so much for being here and supporting me and my business and all pretty things with Anne Marie. And if you guys are feeling generous, feel free to share this video with your friends. And I hope you all have a fantastic day. Thanks for tuning in.